So I made a video about two years ago about how to turn a village into a communist regime and decided to do it again, kinda. Since villagers are ignorant trading scumbags and will charge you unfair prices, we will try to exploit them and make one of their villages into a communist utopia state. But instead of pillaging and burning, we will do diplomacy and some pillaging if that's the case. Since villagers got the new update which is called Village and Pillage, we have new ways to exploit villagers for their use of unfair capitalism for too long. Step 1 is to find a suitable village. Observe the lands and imagine or plan how can you be more mobile in this environment. Kill their spawn iron golems for early iron. Seize the means of production. Just play Minecraft for a while and get resources and stuff. Step 2 is propaganda. Propaganda is important as it can influence people and promote our supreme ideology. Communism is good. Please join us. I will give you bread. Thank you sir. Now you're a communist. But fortunately, they are not jobs. So they will follow who's powerful in the village, which is me. Step 3. The time has come to start our revolution, to promote our ideology. Raise the banners, eliminate the middle class, make the capitalists pay for their war crimes. Let our revolution triumph! We shall name our beautiful new civilization into share because sharing is caring for our comrades. Now we are the head of our village, we might not be comfortable yet because of our new position which some of our population might, might not like us, which step 4 is to create laws and regulation and also make yourself into a dictator. Build a town hall, go megalovania, make a government, a gulag, another gulag. From afar, third time's a charm, force population, and a statue of yourself because why not? I think that's enough example for the Iron Fist as we showed the population we are not to mess with. We might be a little harsh but it's time for another step. We need to give the people what they want. Step 5 is to industrialize, expand, and modernize our village. Talking about better roads, modern factories, more gulags, brick chambers, tall ass economic buildings, farms, and did I mention gulags? Just like the 5 year plan but in Minecraft and it will just take a couple hours to do. Now that our civilization is prospering, we might be vulnerable to future enemies that may affect our economic and village growth. I'm talking about mindless anarchy zombies, pillagers, <coughs> aka savages and annoying air superiority monsters that's why we need an army which is step six is to create a military i am talking about making an hq some walls and cats because for the luftwaffe an army is important to our step as it is the strength and protection of our village iron golems for example straw can lift enemies protect the village and has like 100 arts way more than a player but expensive as it requires a lot of iron to mine and iron farm is kind of needed how ironic while wolves in the other end could be a better as they are cheap easily to breed and follows you around but who in the right mind will put their pets to a battlefield i do So we have an army, a functioning society, and a charismatic leader. I hope so. Now I am paranoid that our prospering village will start to rebel against us and your advisors might be scheming behind your back. Well don't be fear, here comes step number 7, is to purge. Really that simple. <coughs> be safe for now that we killed half our staff and advisors let's just forget our problems by building stuff gulag farm gulag farm factory we have done it a prosperous capital no corruption and utopian society a perfect world 
for villager kind. What could possibly go wrong? Uh oh. A surprise attack. We shall prevail. That's it, but they're not showing up. I'm really disappointed from the savages. I underestimated them. But uh, that's all, and I hope you learned like something. Make your village into a communist utopia. Look at my map, it's so beautiful. All the red. You know what they say? Better red than dead.